Brown Street approaching the intersection of Van Dyke Road when uh, we believe that driver went through a stop sign and T-boned a car that was traveling westbound on Van Dyke. Uh, that kind of caused a chain reaction of cars um, hitting one another, of trying to avoid the crash, hitting um, cars that came to a stop. In total, we have four cars that were involved in this, uh, eight people in all of the vehicles total. Five were transported to the hospital this afternoon, um, the youngest being an infant who is uh, unfortunately in critical condition at this time, the oldest being a, a, uh, an individual in their 90s. Uh, so, so a wide range of ages, also a wide range of severity for those who are injured. Again, the most seriously injured is an infant who's in critical condition. And then we have some other people who uh, just had some minor injuries but did choose to go to the hospital to be treated for those injuries. We also had three people who uh, declined any medical treatment and did remain here at the scene. Do we have any sort of explanation or reason from the driver who ran the stop sign? Like, were, were they texting? Were they um, just not paying attention? What was that's, of course, part of our investigation at this time, trying to figure out what caused that driver to go through the stop sign. At this point, the driver of that vehicle was one of the people who was transported to the hospital, so we have some deputies up at the hospital trying to talk with them as they receive their medical treatment. And was the child, you, you had mentioned the child was in a car seat, that car seat was properly strapped in and, and installed correctly? That's correct. The infant was in a car seat and uh, was restrained properly. Uh, so, I mean, good news there. It is unfortunate that that child is in critical condition right now, but it could have been much worse and um, if that child wasn't in a car seat. Which car was that child in? Like, were they in the T-boned car? Yes, or one the one that was T-boned. Mm -hmm. And what was that? What kind of vehicle was the one that ran the stop sign? Uh, it was a four-door sedan type vehicle. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you guys have regarding any previous calls to this intersection of, of you know, like, is, sure. is this something that, that happens where regularly in this area that you know? You know, that's something that our traffic investigators are going to look into whenever there's an incident at an intersection. They try to pull up the history of the intersection and figure out if it is something that neighbors would consider dangerous. At this point, it's just so early on in the investigation that I don't have that information available to me. Uh, but of course, that'll be something we look at as it goes on. This road is definitely going to be closed down for a number of hours. Investigators arrived to the scene just, just a few minutes ago, so they're going to start processing everything and making sure that they're collecting all the information they can from the vehicles and from the 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 passengers and the drivers who stayed and of course the people in the hospital. You kind of took the words out of my mouth but um, we're entering into rush hour traffic at this point it's a Friday people are on their way home. Of course. Um, are, what detours would you suggest? I mean is there is there something that you're telling folks right now to, to go? Yeah as far as detours I would just say avoid this area. Um, it's going to be shut down for several hours. Do whatever you need to do. Put it in your phone and, and just kind of work around it. We all have GPS on our phone these days so just try to avoid this area because these investigators are going to be out here for several hours. The uh, vehicle that had the infants. Um, were there any other children in that vehicle? At this time I don't know the ages of the other people who were in that vehicle, but I do know that they range from the infant to to the older individual who was transported to the hospital as well. In that vehicle or in just in the entire Just in accident? the entire accident, the eight people involved. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.